Let's go to File, Open. I will find my Exercise Files folder and select the file named Grace. What we see here is an old photograph that has been scanned. The overall image has yellow tones and maybe there's a little bit too much magenta in it. To balance the color in the image, we can go to Image on the main menu, Adjustments, and Color Balance. Making adjustments using this dialog window will affect our image in a similar way the Levels window did. Once we are done with our changes, the image has changed permanently and we only have the ability to undo these changes through the History window. The problem is that once you save your work and close it, your history will be gone. Photoshop and GIMP documents will preserve layers, paths, and other elements of your work, but not the history of all of your work sessions. Let me show you an alternative. I will cancel out of this window. In Photoshop, but not in GIMP, you can use what is called adjustment layers to do the work you would normally do using the image adjustments and any of these operations, levels, color balance, hue saturation, and so on. So instead of opening up the dialog windows from this menu, you can go to your layers window, click on this button that looks like a black and white circle, and select the type of adjustment you would like to make. Let's choose level since that's the one we're comfortable with so far. Once I do this, you will notice a new layer appear in your layers window. This layer does not contain any imagery. It's an invisible layer that affects the levels of the layers that are stacked below it. Having added this, the adjustments window will become active over here and I can use it the same way we learned how to use the Levels window settings from the main menu. What is great about using adjustment layers as opposed to the main menu operations is that the adjustment layer can be turned off by hiding it like you would with any other layer, it can be edited by clicking on it and continuing with your adjustments, you can delete it like you would delete any other layer, I will go back in my history to recover it, and it can be saved along with your working document. If I save my work and close this Photoshop document, I can go back to File, Open Recent, and locate my file, and you'll see that my adjustment layer is still there. Okay, so now let's really work on color balancing this image. But instead of finding color balance in the main menu, let's grab an adjustment layer from the Layers window. I will click on the Adjustment Layers button and select Color Balance. By doing this, we get a color balance layer in our stack here. For now, I will delete the Levels Adjustment layer because I don't need it yet, and I don't want it to be in my way. Now, having our Adjustment layer selected, let's focus on its settings. What we see here is three sliders, each one going between pairs of colors. Each of these pairs contains complement colors. Cyan and red are complementary. In this relationship, one neutralizes the other. Adding more of one of the colors of the pair removes the complementary color from the image. Let's start with what seems to be the most problematic color tone in this image. I feel that this has a bit too much yellow, so we'll start with a slider corresponding to yellow and blue. Since I want to remove yellow, I will drag the slider closer to blue. So by adding more blue, I'm neutralizing the yellowness in the image. Adjusting any of the sliders will affect all of the color values in the image. You will often want to play with all of the sliders until you find a good balance and your image looks more neutral. You may still want to adjust the levels after your color balance, at which point you may notice more tones that you want to get rid of, so you can move between levels and color balance to achieve a good result. Before we go any further, you will have to take a brief quiz on the information we've covered so far. So let me work on this a bit. Okay, now I think I'm satisfied with the adjustments I've made, but I want to adjust the levels in the image. I will create an adjustment layer for levels, and I will look at my adjustments window here. I will select the white levels eyedrop tool, I will zoom into the white dress, 
and pick one of its highlights, which I feel should be pure white. I will zoom out and I think I will use the handle of the histogram to manually adjust for the black values. I think this looks good so far. Let me go back to the color balance adjustment layer, make a few more adjustments here. I think I'm happy with the result. Let's look at the history window. I will select the original state of my image and now at the color corrected image. I think this looks much, much better.